Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're well. Um, same process as ever with mics on either side of the room. And uh, we'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 p.m. this evening. Somewhere to start? Simon? Hi, Pep. Um, I know you get asked lots about your future, and you always say not decided, but the last two contract extensions you signed were in November. Are you, have you got any plans to go to Abu Dhabi over the next two weeks? No. That's fair enough. Um, can you just give us your view on where the team is at the moment? You've, you've, in your managerial career, have never lost four games in a row. That's what you're, you're looking at now. Does it feel like a team who has lost three games in a row? Oh, it is the first time in the time life. Hopefully, it's not the case. Um, if you tell me 20 minutes against Fulham, we're not good. The team is not good. If you tell me against uh, Bournemouth, I would tell the team is not good. The rest of the game, we were good. So, we're good. We see what happens. And can you tell us about Jack Grealish as well? Because obviously he's not, he's not been playing, but he was picked for England yesterday. A question for the manager from UK. Is he fit to play for you tomorrow? No. Just on that, Pep, are there any other players who've been missing recently who are available for you at Brighton? Mm. No, no good news. Uh, the same like I uh, think in Lisboa. The same guys uh, that uh, we travel are still there. Um, the Brighton manager was a young player at Bayern when, when you were there. He's described you as a role model. I just wonder what you make of his impact as a Premier League manager at age of just 31. I'm really impressed for the way they play. Uh, I think Roberto Cherry will make an incredible job there. Uh, Brighton will make a lot of signs this season. And uh, he's doing an incredible job, personality, rhythm. The way they played the last two games against Liverpool was a good standing. The result was not good, but they played really good. So, uh, Always have been tough since Graham Potter. Always have been tough, Brighton, away or home, it doesn't matter. And we'll be no exception. Pete? Pep, your players aren't used to losing one game, never mind three. What have you said to them this week? It's different competitions. Have you have you had to reassure them a little bit? Bernardo, for example, seemed very very down after the game on Tuesday. I don't think so. We said that, that of course we are not used to play three games in different three competitions, but it's football. It's happened, so we know the reason why we are struggled. And but yeah, looking forward to that game and after international break and after that. Um, a few players will come in back better and recover and for all the problems that uh, we have, um, a little problems that every player has, we will solve it. I hope so. They say you learn more about your players when they've lost a game than when they're winning. What, what have you learned about your players this week? Absolutely anything because I know them for nine years. So they prove many times what they are able capable of. So no change of opinion I have to them. <coughs> it's part of the Sometimes happen. I have to understand it. Set the embargo there for 10:30 p.m. this evening. 